So, everybody knows that motor oil is the way to go when it comes to properly lubricating and protecting your engine. But, what if we replace the motor oil with lard? Let's find out. Now all of the oil has already been drained out of the engine. All I have to do is heat up the lard since it's currently in a solid state. Uh, dump it in and see what happens. So let's get started. Okay, we've got ourselves a nice big pot of oil, or fat, and uh, it's, a, it's a little bit, I don't know, luby, slick, whatever you want to call it, uh, but certainly not very viscous. It's almost like vegetable oil. I know there was somebody that uh, did a little vegetable oil replacement for motor oil video or something like that, and it seemed to work pretty well, but let's see how this works. This seems so wrong, but I don't really care. I think that's pretty much full. Alright, without further ado, let's start this thing up and see how long it lasts. Alright, so this lawnmower has been running for about 15 minutes straight with nothing but lard in the crankcase. Um, and it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I mean, you know, it's warm, but that is to be expected from a lawnmower that's been running for 15 minutes. It doesn't seem like we've burned the uh, piston rings because uh, there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust, There's, which means that there's no oil getting past the uh, those rings. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's running good. And after this thing cools off a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a tear down. Just kind of take a look inside and see what the condition of everything is. And, um, then it'll be ready for its next test. Okay. So upon the uh, first inspection, it seemed like there was a lot of oil that were, uh, you know, around the valve and the lifters and stuff like that. So that's a good sign. Um, it does feel pretty greasy. It's like sticking your hand in a, a deep fryer. Um, but I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't really think that would be much of a problem there. So moving on past that into the cylinder, it looks rather dry. Um, I stuck my fingers in there and it even feels a little bit dry. It's very smooth. I don't see any scarring or burn marks or anything like that in there. So it must have been getting just enough oil to uh, continue to do its job properly but it just seems a bit I don't know drier than usual let's go ahead and drain the oil and see what the lard looks like it's probably gonna be very hot there we go 
So it's a little, uh, uh oh. It's a little uh, milky looking. Um, I do see a lot of metallic dust inside the oil. It looks very shiny. So I think we were definitely uh, wearing down something that was in there. Some bearings or something like that. Um, so probably not good. Maybe the final verdict is no, you can't, you shouldn't use uh, lard as a uh, motor oil. And I'm thinking maybe if we left this a little bit longer, it probably would have eventually failed. But hey, 15 minutes, that's not bad. I think it passed my test.